First thing you need to do is make sure that you have your Equipment Profile Manager open. You can see here that I have a profile for my iOptitron CEM60. I can't connect to that today though because it's raining all day long. So I'm going to be connecting to a portable telescope I have that I move in and out of the house. Uh, go over here to where it says focus. Make sure you have your ASCOM drivers installed for your focuser. I happen to use an N-step focuser on the portable scope. Over here, you're going to have to set the fine focus steps. I understand that most people set this at around 50. And you also have to set the coarse focus steps. I set that at around 150. Sequence Generator Pro is going to first coarse focus. And then when it starts to get to within focus, it's going to start using fine focus steps. The way Sequence Generator Pro does this is by measuring the full width half max of about 100 stars in your field of view. Uh, I set, I don't use focus reminder. I don't need to be reminded to focus, but I do use, use autofocus, adjust focus per filter, and I also temperature compensate. I set mine at one degree. Uh, where it says here, use autofocus, click on the set button. It will open up a new dialog box. I don't focus every frame or every five or 10 frames because focusing does take some time. I do focus when I have degree changes though. And I set this at 15 degrees. That gives me about an hour's worth of focusing uh, as I'm tracking a star across the sky. I do have a Schmidt Cassegrain and there's some mirror flop. That's why I do that. I do also focus every 60 minutes. If I'm imaging at a high, uh, at a high declination, uh, at a high altitude, uh, I might not change degrees very much, but I need to focus every 60 minutes. I want to focus on filter changes again. I want to have autofocus when it starts because that's important. And I want to have autofocus on resume just in case uh, I want to pause the focus for some reason or pause Sequence Generator Pro and go back to resuming Sequence Generator Pro. I want to make sure that I'm focused. And I have autofocus after uh, centering action. This is important when you're do, when you're looking at more than one target per night in Sequence Generator Pro. On this side, I really don't do anything. I just leave these all at the default. So I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm not really not going to use the Profile Manager here because I don't want to set up a new profile for this uh, uh, for this portable telescope. So I'm just going to close that out. I am going to bring up the sequencer though here and show you that I'm hooked up to my focuser. And if you click on this little wrench, that's an important part that what you need to do, click on the wrench, make sure that via your ASCOM driver, you have absolute selected on how the ASCOM driver is going to uh, behave with your focuser. If you have it set on relative, Sequence Generator Pro will not work. This has to be set on absolute. Uh, I'm just going to close that out for now. Okay. Over here, you see the Focuser Generator window from Sequence Generator Pro. Uh, you can also change the fine focus and coarse focus here. I use this at the beginning of each imaging run at night. Uh, if Sequence Generator Pro, if the stars are very far out of alignment, Sequence Generator Pro has a hard time focusing. I actually use a Batnoff mask. So what I do is I put my mask on and then I use this to focus. Uh, I focus and I take uh, very short frame and focus exposures of about three seconds. So I, so I take an exposure, refocus, take an exposure, refocus. Once I'm in focus here, then I'm all done with this particular dialog box. But as long as we're here, let me talk about this for a minute. It says minimum star size at one by one pixel. You really need to leave this at around five. I wouldn't go below four. Sequence Generator Pro, as I said, looks at the full width half max settings of about 100 stars. If you make this too small, which you would think that that's the thing you want to do because you want really tight, sharp stars, Sequence Generator Pro will never find focus. So make sure you leave this at around five. That's what I do. If you click on settings, it also opens up pretty much that same dialog box that we have used before where you could change uh, some of the attributes. So make sure that you have autofocus on resume 
and autofocus after automatically centering on action. So make sure that's set and then just click OK. Uh, after that, you should be set to go. There should be no issues or problems uh, with focusing. Hope this helps you. Bye now.